In this lesson, we will determine the domain of a function that has an expression with square root in the denominator. We have to remember that domain restrictions are denominator must be not equal to zero and if we have a square root radicand, that radicand must be greater than or equal to zero. To find the domain of the function f with denominator 5 minus square root of x plus 7, we must take care of both restrictions. Denominator not equal to 0 and radicand of square root greater than or equal to 0. First, for the denominator to not equal to 0, we set the denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. We do that by moving the, radican, the radical on the right. So we will have 5 equals the square root of x plus 7 and squaring both sides. We get 25 equals x plus 7 or if we subtract 7 from both sides, 18 equals x. This value of x is the value that makes the denominator equal to 0, therefore one of the restrictions is that x must be not equal to 18. Second, we must make sure that the square root radicand is greater than or equal to 0. This means x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0 or x greater than or equal to negative 7. Then we have to put these restrictions together. Graphically, this is negative 7 and this is 18 and x must be greater than or equal to negative 7 but it cannot equal to 18. The domain in interval notation will be closed at negative 7 comma 18 open union open at 18 to infinity. To find the domain of the function g with denominator the square root of 3x plus 1 minus 4 we must take care of both restrictions again First, we must make sure that the denominator is not equal to 0. So, I'm going to set the denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. To do that, I will move the 4 to the right. And then I will square both sides. I get the equation. I shouldn't have crossed off that square on the 4. I get the equation 3x plus 1 equals 16 or 3x equals 15 or x equal to 5 if I divide by 3. But this value makes the denominator equal to 0 and therefore it has to be excluded from the set of real numbers that makes x not equal to 5. Our second restriction is that the radicand must be greater than or equal to 0. This means 3x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0 or 3x greater than or equal to negative 1 or if I divide by 3 x greater than or equal to negative 1 over 3. By putting both restrictions together I'm looking for values of x that are greater than or equal to negative one-third but not equal to five. This makes the domain of the function equal to closed at negative one-third comma five open 
union 5, infinity.